and welcome to today's lip swatching slash review all-in-one lip video on the um, Wet n Wild metallic liquid lipsticks that are only $2.99 girl yes which is why I got the whole collection so I have all the colors I'm gonna be doing lip swatching um, and packaging uh, formula how long they last everything that will be down below and the time which I talk about if you just want to see the lip swatches check down below for the timestamp and you can jump right on in. But I will say if you don't watch the whole video, the swatching part might not make a lot of sense how I'm doing it. That's all I'm going to say, but yeah. Okay. So as I already said, these were $2.99, very affordable. Um, and I'm going to quickly go over the colors, but I have all of them. Peony Express is definitely the most wearable. It's just like a nice light pink everyday kind of color. Then we have my Tulips Are Sealed, which is like a peachy, warm toned with like rose gold undertones. It's really, really beautiful. It does, definitely has a lot of reflex in it. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this one. Chrysanthemums? The word. Chrysanthemums. I don't know. And that is just a very bright neon pink. Like, pink girl. Then we have Days of Fuchsia Past. This is a cool tone, bright, bright, bright fuchsia girl. Yes. I really don't enjoy these two shades. I wouldn't have bought them if I wasn't doing this video. But if you're into fuchsia colors, then girl, go for it, honey. Then we have Indigo Your Own Way, which is the purple in the group, one of my faves. And we have the one that I am wearing on my lips right now, Coming Up Roses, which isn't, I would say, I would not say this is a red. It kind of turns out to be more of a pink, but it's really pretty. So packaging, you guys, is fantastic. I can't believe that this is only $2.99. It's just really nice, sleek, basic packaging, but I've seen some really bad packaging for like on cheap products. This is really good. The lid actually locks into place. It's not gonna open up in your purse and like get liquid lipstick all over the place. Um, the applicator, it's kind of a unique shape. I don't necessarily know if I love it, but I think I just like the classic doe foot applicator more, I would say. But this definitely does let me get a precise line. So nothing really to complain about. Um, the smell, I'm not a fan of. I don't notice it as much. It's not as bad now, but I swear when I first opened these, they smelled like just garbage. But I don't really notice it anymore. I don't know if I got used to it or if it kind of like diffused. It definitely didn't like stay lingering on my face or anything. Just the initial reaction was just not very pleasant with the smell. Okay, now going on to the formula. All of them apply pretty much the same. They have, they're very consistent in the formula. Some of the darker colors, you need to maybe do like a little bit extra just because it might not be as opaque. But they're very similar and they are absolutely buildable. So if you want to just keep adding it adding and adding you can I don't notice anything weird you can just keep layering if you want so the way that I like to wear these is actually kind of different I would say I actually like wearing these not very opaque I like putting a little bit on the center of my lips kind of rubbing my lips together and then using my finger to kind of put that in the the corners of my mouth and I like doing that because it like to me I don't want to look like a disco ball and I think that these sometimes can get super super shiny super super metallic but these are so beautiful and they're so comfortable and I I noticed that although you can layer up it kind of feels like um it doesn't feel sticky I don't know what exactly what the word is but like if it was windy out you know you'd get your hair stuck in this and it's it'd be kind of annoying because it's absolutely not transfer proof at all like at all like I probably just messed up oh no I didn't okay we're good but like it's you know it can get kind of messy I feel like they are kind of heavy like I'm trying to explain to you it's hard to say it's not sticky but it's a little heavy I hope that makes sense but however I love that the way that these wear it wears off evenly and actually leaves a stain and it just it fades so beautifully and that's why I really really love these it's not patchy or anything like that the stain is gorgeous I love the way that these wear I think that they do last a long time however they last a long time with the stain I don't necessarily think that the metallic part lasts a really 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 long time um, it depends on you know if you're eating and all that because like I said it's not kiss proof at all. Another thing I really like about these is I feel like you can mix them really well. Like you can just add, these add such a beautiful shine to the lips and such a, such dimension with the metallicness of them that I actually like kind of combining them with other lip products and it just adds that extra kind of oomph, you know what I mean? I just love that. You can do so much with these. You can wear them fully opaque. You can wear them just a little bit and they're very gorgeous. You can mix them. I mean, you there. it's just like endless what you can do. So in the lip swatch video, I'm going to show you um, one where it's just lightly put on and then the other side where it's full opacity and it is just color, honey. So let's jump into the lip swatch portion.
this video. I overall really like them, really recommend them. Um, I will say that I don't think you need all of them. These two shades are very similar. The pink ones, even the red one when it's like sheened out looks pretty pink. Um, and then these two are also very similar. Uh, so yeah, my favorites are actually, my two lips are sealed. The purple one, which is Indigo Your Own Way. And I actually am starting to really like this red one, which is Coming Up Roses. These three, I'm like, eh, it's okay. You know what I mean? These three are the winners for me, but I do like all of them. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about these lip products, anything that I forgot to go over or anything like that, please let me know down below. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I really appreciate it. Follow me on my other social medias. I want you to know that beauty isn't everything and I will see you guys in my next video.